Hello and welcome back to Mikey's Flight Deck. Today I'm gonna show you how you can build this armrest in a chart holder for your Boeing sidewall. For the base, I used 18mm boards of an old IKEA shelf. The upper box was made from 10mm MDF. I'm planning to mount this part here with the back edge flush to the back edge of the middle post and this lower side here flush to the lower side of the frame. To align the lower side flush to the frame, I clamped some pieces of MDF to it to act as a support. Now you can see a gap on the back side. I marked the regions of the wood that had to be cut away to close this gap. When I did these corrections at the first piece, which was the chart holder of the right side, I could do this cut here on my table saw. At the um, chart holder of the left side, the cut has to be on the other side, and I can't do this on my table saw, and so I have to change to the band saw. After some rounds of cutting and trying, the part fitted perfectly. When you glue down this upper piece of the chart holder, make sure it is flush at the end and the front, because these are the sides that will be visible in the cockpit later. After the sanding, I applied a coat of wood filler to close all gaps and hide the wooden structure. This was the first time I used this wood filler here, and what can I say? After sanding it with a 320 grit paper, it is an unbelievable smooth surface now and I will have to give it a second coat of filler to close some holes here that are left over, but then it is prepared for the next step. Then I applied two coats of sprayable wood filler and two coats of paint.
plate under the handle was cut from a 0.75 mm steel plate. You can bend this metal very clean by clamping it in a vise. To cut the base of the handle, I made a paper template and transferred it to a block of two MDF plates. For a smooth surface, I covered the piece with a wood filler. I estimated the angle of the handle to be 15 degrees and cut this angle to a round bar. The little trigger was made from 10 mm MDF. Again, some filler closed most of the gaps. All parts were painted two times with the same varnish as before. And that's it. Some of you who know this part of the cockpit may have seen that there is a part missing until now. And this is here, a clip for the paper charts to hold them. And I haven't installed it until now because I will see if I will use it like the original paper chart holder or if I will mount a tablet on it. Some lessons learned were about the lacquer. This was the first part of the cockpit I've painted until now. And when I started to paint it, I realized that the lacquer didn't cover really the whole part. So I used much of it. And that was a mistake. There were some paint drops uh, on the back, you can see them from here. And these drops uh, can destroy your whole smooth surface. So if you're painting your parts, make the first thin coat of lacquer and uh, it doesn't matter if it covers the part fully at the first time but the second or maybe the third thin coat will do. I didn't mount this part until now and this is because I have to construct this underlying quarter sill lining here and I don't want to be this part in the way. So that's it for this video. I hope you've learned something you can use in your own home cockpit. And if you want to build your own chart holder, then go to my website. You will find a full set of plans to build this thing. And if you like what I've done, then subscribe to my channel to stay informed about any upcoming new video from me. So I hope we'll see us soon back on the flight deck.